our Malaysian government our Malaysian implemented government the movement implemented control the order movement as the COVID-19 pandemic worsened in March 2020. School pupils had to stay at home and teachers had to start online teaching. Under the leadership of Dato Dr. Ma Hang Soon, the Deputy Minister of Education Office has launched an easy learning web. Pupils are able to continue learning from home through the Easy Learning Facebook page and YouTube channel. Easy Learning Web is an interactive learning platform. Pupils are welcome to interact with the teachers during lessons via the chat room section. Real learning can only take place when there is an active two-way communication. We continue to improve ourselves to keep abreast with the latest trend in education. Let's venture into the world of learning together with Easy Learning Web. Easy Learning Web welcomes you. Easy Learning Web welcomes you. Good evening, teachers, pupils, and viewers of EZ Learning Web. Welcome to the 13th 13 Sparks in the Dark Learn English Online Series. I am Madam Annabelle Tan from SJKC Tambang Johor, the moderator of today. Before we start our lesson, there are some reminders for you. Please pay full attention throughout the lessons. Remind, remember to take notes on the paper in the book using a pencil. Please respond to questions by typing in the chat box or comment section. Please comment politely and positively so that we can have a productive session. You may use your earphones and adjust video resolution to 720p for better audio and viewing experience. Please jot down the three passcodes mentioned throughout the lesson for certification. This session will be available on both Easy Learning Web Facebook page or YouTube channel. You can rewatch the video anytime at your own experience. Here are some tasks for you before we start our lesson. As we as we can see on the screen, this is the Facebook page of Easy Learning Web. If you haven't liked the EZ, EZ Learning Web Facebook page, please like it now by clicking on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel too. By doing so, you will get notification for our upcoming learning series. Today, we are going to learn about animals from around the world. I'm sure you have seen lots of animals and recognize them, right? What animals do you like most? Today, Miss Ang is going to tell you more about animals around the world. Before that, let me introduce our speaker for today's lessons. She is Miss Ang Peisat from SJKC Poichai Para. She graduated in Max and English degree from IPG Police. Then she further her master degree in University of Science. She has 11 years of teaching experience. Besides, she is also a influencer of KTM and the street speak district speakers for SJKC schools in Police. Okay. Without further ado, please welcome our speaker today, Miss Ang Pei San. Miss Ang, the floor is yours. Thank you, thank you uh, to Madam Annabelle for as my moderator today, and a very, very, very great welcome 
to all the students today for attending the lesson. And today I will conduct the lessons to introduce you all about animals from around the world. There are a lot of animals around us. Maybe now beside you, they are a pet or maybe a cat, a dog. So they are all animals. But what are the animals from the different part of the world? This is what I wish to share with you all today. So again, I welcome all of you to attend the Sparks in the Dark Learn English online lesson. This is our 13th lesson. And I am Miss Ang Pei San and I am from SJKC Pui Choi. So now let's start for our lesson today. Before start the lesson, my dear students, let's see what I am looking for today. The first apple here is I can use my general knowledge to guess what is growing inside the eggs. So you need to guess for the first part. And the second apples here, I can use the digital tool to discover animals from different locations. How to use the digital tool? Let's us start it after this. And the third apples here is I can identify the animals of different continents. What are the animals from the different continents? And the last apple here is I can learn many skills such as problem solving, critical thinking, and decision making. So how you learn all these skills? Let's see in the last part of our lesson. I hope that all of you clear about what we will learn for today. And the first part here is the story time. Guess what is growing inside this egg. And uh, this is a storybook written by Mia Posada. And I'm taking it by, uh, I'm taking it from the Epic Reading application. So the credit uh, goes to them. Now, students, are you ready to guess it? If you are ready, so I will start the first question for you. Look at this picture. Can you guess what is growing inside this egg? Student, you can respond in the chat box to tell me what is inside the egg. And the clue here is this egg sits snugly on his father's feet. He warms it with his body heat. Under his feather belly, it's cozy and warm, safe from the icy Antarctic storm. So are you able to guess it? What is inside the egg? Any answer from you? You can just respond inside the chat box. Yes. Uh, Kieng Tan respond is a penguin. Any other answer? It sits under the father feet. Let's see, is it your have a good guess? So the answer is penguin. Yes, penguin. This is the penguin egg. Now let's move on. Neither saw Alex Tun. Hmm. Neither saw. Let's see. The second, can you guess what is growing inside these eggs? The clue is this mouth of dirt and stick peel high makes a safe nest for these eggs to lie. Predators of the swamp had better keep back. This sharp tooth mother will attack their mother with the sharp tooth. So, can you all guess what's inside these eggs? What animals are this? Anyone? The mother is with the sharp teeth. What are the animals with the sharp teeth? Mm, that's one say it's a snake. 
as you can see, is a snake. Beside the snake, it usually live in a swamp place. Key answer is a crocodile. Um, I give you another clue. The word is start with the letter sound eh eh. Leon Gray say it's snake, but the first letter sound is eh eh. So, what animals? It's alligator. Alligator. I will give you a task, my dear students. After the lesson, you can search over Google. What are the differences between alligator and crocodile? What are the differences? Okay. You can go to have a search and see what are the differences between alligator and crocodile. You will feel it amazed, the differences. The third one. Are you ready? Can you guess what is growing inside this X? And the clue here is tall lake shore reeds help hide the nest where these eggs lie under their mother's breast is under the mother's breast so what animals are these and these animals the word the first letter is start with the sound of t t t so what is what are these animals? Hmm, that's when respond chicken is near to the answer, but it's not chicken because the letter sound is t, t, t. So, chicken, the letter sound is k, k, but this one is t, t. So, what are these? Carol answered is turkey. T, t, it's duckling. Duckling. Okay? It's okay. Although you already didn't have a good guess, but you are still try, right? Learning is a process for trying. So let's try. It's okay for wrong. But I look at, I say once, Correct answer from Alex is duck. Yeah, the kids of a duck, we name it as duckling. Duckling, okay? Very good. Alex, a good guess. Now, hmm, I think you all can guess it very easy for this. What is growing inside these eggs? Their mother crawl from the sea to land to bury these soft eggs in the sand mm. these eggs usually will found it inside the sand so what are this can you guess it what animals are this they are the crawl from the sea to the land to protect the eggs yeah, someone said it's sea turtle. Sea turtle? Mm. Is it correct? Sea turtle. Turtle. Zara, respond is turtle. It's not a tortoise. Let's see the answer. Yes, you all have a good guess. The answer is sea turtle. Sea turtle. Usually in Malaysia, uh, before this, we easily can get or found sea turtle at Trenganu. Trenganu. But uh, I wonder, nowadays, is it still able to find it or not? If you are from Trenganu, you can respond to me. Do you still able to find or to look for the sea turtle at Trenganu beach site? Okay. This is amazing. What is this? Can you guess what is growing inside these eggs? Is it, is it an egg? It looks like... Mm. This round sack of seal trick 
is packed full of the tiny eggs. Tiny, so very, very small eggs. The mother spawned it with an egg long legs. It means that the egg mother is with egg legs. So, what are this? Look at it. This is also my first time to look at their eggs. Before this, I don't know. Their eggs is look like this. So what is this? Oh, they say this spider. Hmm, Doraemon says spider. How you know that this spider? Because the mother with the egg has long legs. Yeah, Ki Eng say it's spider. Let's see. Wow, you are so great. The answer is spider. Spider. It's not Spider Man. It's a spider. Because today I introduced animals. Okay. So now move on. This should be very easy, right? Can you guess what is growing inside these eggs? And the clue. Hidden in a rocky cave. Deep inside the ocean wave. Their mother wraps her long arms, long arms around to keep the eggs safe and sound. What are this? In the ocean. And the mother with the long arms and wraps around the eggs. You see, all this is the eggs. So, what are these animals? Okay, so you can say it's octopuses. Is it octopuses? Octopus. Or any other answer? Yeah, Alex also responds with octopus. Do you all eat octopus before? Wow. Great, huh? The answer is octopus. Octopus. Okay? So the octopus X looks like what? You look at it, looks like it's not like a flower. Okay. So, this is the actual size of the eggs. If we put all the animals' eggs together, then you can see the largest one is the penguin. Penguin. And the oval shape is the alligator and the duck egg. The sea turtle eggs is look like the ping pong ball size, right? And also the shape also looks like the ping pong ball. Okay, now I want to ask you a question. Do you find the octopus egg and the spider egg? The octopus is very small. The spider one is very, 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 very small. If it's very, 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 very small, we can use the word tiny. Tiny. Okay? T-I-N-Y is very tiny. It means mini. Okay? So here, the largest is the penguin eggs. The smallest is the spider egg. Okay, so I hope you all learned something from this story and guessing all the animals from their eggs. Yes, the spider's egg is so small. Yes, that's why I say it's very, 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 very small. And I use the word tiny, tiny, okay? Okay, now, after we discovered about the eggs, what happened? Huh, remember the passcode? You needed to fill in the attendant form. The first passcode is very easy. Spider, spider. My dear student, do you jot down it? Spider. It's not Spider-Man. I remind again, it's spider. If you already jot down, I will move on. Okay? 
Okay, after this, we will have some activity. Before we start the activity, I will show you what to do so that you will not feel lost when we start it. This is a Padlet. After I explain, I will share the links to you all. After you click the link, here is a symbol of add. You press it. You press it. Okay. After you press it, here you will look at it. Pick a location. So you choose any location you wish to go for. Last week, I tried Australia. After I key in the word Australia, then I choose from the option. I click the word Australia. Just see where you want to go. So you just type the word inside the box here, the blank here. Maybe you want to go to Malaysia. Maybe you want, maybe you wish to go to China. Maybe you wish to go to United Kingdom. So you just key in. This, we will know what happened then. After you click, it will come to this page. This page, Australia is here. Then you go to one, two, three, four. The fourth symbol here, you click on it. You click on it, you will come out with this page. So you just key in animals from the place you choose animal from australia i key in and i choose images images means pictures okay i click images and these are all the animals i can find in australia choose one that you know or your favorite one to share with us i choose kangaroo so I click on kangaroo. Then I key in the word kangaroo. Kangaroo. Then I press the button publish. Publish means all of us know what you try to find. Okay. So automatically the picture will show on the map. Okay, I hope that you all understand what to do. And now I will share the link. This is the link and this is the barcode. You can click the link or you can scan the barcode. Or you can get the link in the chat box. And after this, we will have a look together on the response you all have been shared to your friend. Oh. So let's see. Someone shared Indonesia just now. Taiwan, it's cat. Where is the picture? It's missing. You also Taiwan, but without the animals, it's okay. Maybe you are trying. Another one, Korea also cat. Where is the picture? You can try to search the picture. China. You can try to insert the picture. China, what? are the animals you can find in China. Okay, someone wish to go to the London. So, huh, this is very good. Malaysia, wow, with a long response. I choose the tiger because it reminds me of the Malaysian tiger. Good response, yeah tiger in Malaysia, but uh, it's almost can't wear, well, but this why the face of the tigers is look different from the tiger. 
that we usually have a look on it. It's like two face here, right? Oh, just now the China is at on the picture. Yes, panda from China. Good try. Yes, China. You can find the panda. It's like you are really know a lot about the animal. And someone also said that Australia can find penguins. Penguins. Hmm. You see here. Oh. Uh, UK. What you can find at UK, my dear? Penguins. <laughs> Let's see. England. What you can find in England? Wow. This is a jumping kangaroo. It is furry. It can jump very high. Kangaroo are my favorite animal. I like kangaroos because they are the word jump. Zina. Oh, thank you for your sharing. Now I know. This is a jumping kangaroo, and they are the world jump winner. They are champion, right? In the world of jumping. Thank you for your sharing. I learned it, and thank you. And, ha, huh, Ku Yuxian, China, Beijing. Okay, what is this? It's a panda. Yeah, this is a lot of your love China and the panda. Wow, this one just looks so cute, the baby panda, right? And Australia, yes, this one I love them too. It's a koala bear, koala bear. They are so sweet, right? Mm. Okay. So this is uh, some sharing to you all and yours can still respond to it if you feel that it's very amazing and you want to try to the different places, you can keep on try. You can try and try and try. Maybe now you can move to India. Maybe you can move to uh, Switzerland. Maybe you can move to Africa. You can find different, different. Yeah, I see here. Some of the students still keep on responding. Yeah, India. So what are the animals in India? Mm -hmm -hmm. Africa. Oh, okay. A response here. Okay. It look like it's the one that lets me to explore more to you all because it remind me the time is running. It's okay. So you all can continue to respond and we will continue our lesson. If not, we can't finish the lesson on time, right? Okay, now I will move on seven continents. There are seven continents in the world in the world so can you guess first continent this red colors part what is the name of the continent what is the name of the continent the name of the continent consists of two words two words i give you a short clue the first word is North. North. North what? What is the name of the of this continent? Okay, you can respond at the chat box. Or you need some time to search for the answer online. You can do it too. The more you explore, the more knowledge you will get. Do you not want to know the answer? Now I will show you this red color part is north america north america so now my dear students what are the animals you can find in north america yes key in just now you have a response bow is north america good response so the Next question is, what are the animals you can find in North 
America. Mm, you can guess three animals which you can find in North America. You can have a guess. It's okay to wrong. North America. What are the animals? What are the animals you can find here? <laughs> North America. You can you have to think about it. Mm, the weather. The weather is cold or hot. What are the animals stay in the cold area? And what are animals stay in the hot area? So you can guess the answer. Shan Shanti say panda. Lil uh, Lifen say a wolf, wolf. Any other response? What are the animals you can find at, find in North America? The American beaver. Yes. I think your answer is maybe correct because the word American is there. Yes. The uh, chatting response is bears. Is it bears? Maybe. Deer, jaguar, polar bear, alligator. Wow, Yi Xiang. Good response. Let's see. The three animals I choose is same with yours or not. Your answer is not wrong. It's just I just pick up three animals because too much you will forget about it because that's the reason i choose three so first of the animals i choose that you can find in north america is crocodile 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 so the second one yes yeah, someone choose the same one with me polar bear polar bear and the third one moose moose what is moose? Where you can find moose? This is the three animals I wish to introduce to you all that you can find in North America. Crocodile, polar bear, and moose. Okay, now, the sentence here is, some animals in North America are polar bear, crocodile, and moose okay i use the word are here because three different animals and i use the word and here because i want to write in one sentence i want to combine it into one sentence so i use the word and so i hope you are also familiar with the sentence structure now I will move to second continent, orange color part. This part, any one of you know the name of it? Any one of you want to guess? What are the name? What are, sorry, is what is the name of this continent? The orange part. And the fingers, it click, click and click. Anyone want to guess it? Um, The clue is, the name is almost the same with North America. It's just change one of the words. So, any one of you able to guess it? What America? Malaysia, America? He ain't say it is South America. Why is South? Let's see. Is it South America? Wow. Yes, Carol, you have a good guess too. Yi Xiang also, you have a good guess. Yes, it's South America. Good guess. So now, we move on. South America. Another three animals from here. You can find here three animals. Three animals. Let's see. The animals you choose with the animals I choose is the same. Do us the, the same mindset and same thinking by choosing the same animals. The animals that you can find in South America. What that? What are them? What are them? What are them? Animals, animals, animals. Emily say, Emilia say, Panqui. Mm, 
is it penguin although i have been bring over my friend here little penguin but i don't know is it i choose the penguin here or does it penguin live in south america beside penguin what are the animals here south america what are the animals you can find here okay aria say turtle sea turtle mm -hmm. sea turtle because you see the blue color here right so the sea turtle can swim inside here zala uh, zara respond ki eng say piranha mm -hmm. let's see what i choose here parrot so how the parrots talk how the parrots uh intimate the sound of the owner Ilama. Good morning. Good morning. Do you know me? Do you know me? Is it the sound of parrot? Okay, I'm not a parrot, sorry. But I try to intimate it. Mm, I hope it get you all to imagine about parrot. Okay. Liama. Zara respond to Liama. And the second animals i choose is iguana iguana looks very big right the third animals i choose is leopard 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 is the animals that can run very fast if it can join the 100 meters run sure leopard can get champion if if leopard run with me okay so the three animals here i repeat they are parrot iguana and leopard these are the three animals i choose and the sentence is some animals in south america are leopard parrot and iguana okay yes leopard yes i say your answer oops the passcode is here again my dear the second passcode jot it down is parrot parrot so it means that again i need to repeat the sound like the parrot hey my dear the second passcode, the second passcode, parrot, 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 jot down, jot down, jot down. So, okay, Miss Ang back now. Jot down the word parrot. Okay. This is a secret. Don't share with your friends that they didn't attend the lesson. So, you have the secret of me. The third continent. Now I will move to the third continent, yellow color. And the fingers, it click and click and click. What is the name? What is the name of that? What is the name of it? Mm. Wow. This is the word of the animals. There are a lot, a lot, a lot of animals and this continent africa africa yes Yi Xiang, you have a good guess africa any one of you visit africa before can share with me anyone i wish to be there but let me uh find some time to be there so now let's see what are the animals? What are the animals you can find in Africa? Yes, Kian, Africa, good answer. So now, three animals you can find in Africa. It's very easy. Yeah, Zara, have a good guess, Africa. So, what are animals here? Africa, a lot of rainforests, and also they'll have a part of what the part with a lot of sand so what animals here 
Carol say they are elephant, giraffe. Yeah, animals are giraffe, elephants, any others. I also I already choose three animals here. Okay, some say they has cat fox. Yeah. Zebra. Let's see the animals I choose. I choose camel. Ooh, lion. Ooh, lion king. Lion. And also giraffe. I choose these three. Okay. Camel with the humps. Lion with a sharp teeth. Giraffe with a long neck. But I have a short neck, so I'm not a giraffe. Some animals in Africa are camel, camel, lion, and giraffe. Okay. Now I will move. The blue color part. The blue color part. What is the name of the continents? Europe. Europe. Okay. Europe. I had not been to Europe. So can you share with me what are the animals you can find in Europe? Europe. Yeah, yes, yeah. Wow, sure you have a very a good knowledge in geography. You can guess all the continents so well, right? Yeah, it's Europe. So what are the animals here? Choose the tree you love the most. I already choose three the animals I love the most in Europe. Let's see. Wild beast, Zara respond. Beast. My favorite animals. First is horse. Kata, 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 kata. Okay. And the second one, sheep. Okay. Blah, blah, black sheep. Right, the song is so familiar. Oh, you should say parrot. And Kiang say reindeer. And the third I choose, this one we can have that. Uh, actually, a lot of places you can find the pigeon. Pigeon. When the ancient the people, at the ancient people use pigeons to deliver the letters. Okay, you say they are foxes, wolf. Zara say they are bison, yeah. But my uh I not really love the wild animals, so I choose three here: horse, sheep, and pigeon. So some animals in Europe are horse, sheep, and pigeon. Okay. Now this part, the green color, what is the name of the continent? Malaysia is here. Here, Malaysia is here. Sabah Sarawak is here. So the name of this continent, continent is Asia. Asia. Okay. Malaysia is from the continent's name Asia. Okay, now you can have a guess. What are animals you can find in Malaysia? So that is means it's Asia. Yeah, what other animals do you love in Malaysia? Just now, some of you respond in the padlet in China. What is the animals that you love the most in China? What other animals? Just now, uh, during the padlet sharing session, someone said Malaysia it's not Malaysia, it's tiger. Tiger make her to think about Malaysia. Yeah. Jinao Chong, tiger. Yes, you have a good guess with me. Tiger. It looks so fierce, so wild here. Alex said panda. Yes, panda. And I choose another one that's a very naughty animal, it's a monkey monkey you can see monkey everywhere in malaysia especially near my house there are a lot of monkeys and the monkeys 
are so brilliant. They stole the durian from my house and they ran up the roof and threw down the durian so that they able to open the durian to enjoy it. They are so brilliant, right? Yes, Mandy, good answer. It's monkey. Some animals in Asia are tiger, panda, and monkey. Okay, this one. Australia. Australia. What other animals you can find here? The first one, I already say I love this one. And just now, another uh, girls also respond that she loves kangaroo too because it can jump very, very high. So kangaroo is the first animal I choose. So another two animals, what are they? You shouldn't say monkey. I think monkeys is for Asia, right? So how about Australia? It's also start with the letter K. <laughs> Just now, also someone share in the padlet. Koala bear, koala bear, okay? Kangaroo, koala bear, and also dingo, dingo. Sure, you will very uh, curious what is dingo. Dingo is from the family of dog. From the family of dog. You can go to Google. What is dingo? Then it will explain to you. What is dingo? Dingo is the vowel dog. Vowel dog. Okay. So some animals in Australia are kangaroo, koala bear, and dingo. Okay. The last continent. The very, 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 very cold place. What is the name of this continent? Antarctica. 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 What are the animals here? Very, very cold. Very, very cold. This is a clue. Very, very cold. Shana say. Yeah, Antarctica. Now it's your time to guess what are the animals here. And one of the animals I choose, I bring it here to for you all. What are animals? The animals, one of it is penguin. Yes, Chui Ting, penguin. Good. Yi Xiang, penguin, polar bear. Oh, uh, I want to remind you all, actually, Penguin and polar bear, they are not in the same continent. They are not in the same continent, okay? They are, maybe they are enemies, so they have separated up. So if they are penguin, they are no polar bear. If they are polar bear, maybe they, no, maybe they are no penguin. So beside penguin, veal, yes, snow owl, very good answer, tweeting, veal, penguin, and also one seal yes arctic fox is also the answer but i choose these three okay penguin veal and seal arctic fox leopard seal yes good answer zara so some animals in the antarctica are veals penguins and seals so we already go one round for all the continents. Now, we continue to guess, to guess, to guess. It's okay. We can learn through guessing. What are there? What birds spend most of their life in the ocean, but they are not a fish. The, but it's not a fish. What birds spend most of their life in the ocean, but not a fish. What is that? The birds spend life in the ocean, can swim, but it's not a fish. Anyone? <laughs> this word has appeared quite several times before this. Yes, Sukian, good answer. Penguin, penguin, penguin. Yes, it's yes, so you think it's 
correct penguin yes i bring my friend here penguin penguin look at her is jumping over here is penguin okay did you know the life cycle of a penguin okay today i invite a uh, one of my small teachers in the classroom to tell you what is the life cycle of a penguin Okay, so the life cycle of a penguin, the simple ones, is start with an egg. Egg, then chick handling, hatling, hatch, hatch it. Then it change into a chick. The last one, it change into the penguin. Okay, four stage here. Did you know that some penguins stay in the water for five months? Five months. What happened here? How do penguins stay warm and dry in the icy waters of Antarctica? How? How? Okay, let's start the penguin experiment. Okay. Uh, I have been shared in the post, ask you to prepare some ingredient, but it's okay if you are not prepared it because all this you can find in your house. But before this, I want to tell you the third passcode. The third passcode is penguin. Penguin, penguin. Remember, penguin. Okay. The third passcode again, the last time I remind you already, the third passcode is penguin. Okay. These are the ingredients I need for the experiment. A piece of paper, a pencil, crayons in black, white, and orange, a spray bottle or a cup, some water, and watercolor in blue. I will show you the step, how to do it. Maybe you can try it. If you are not with the ingredient, you can try it after the lesson. It's very amazing. The experiment steps is here. First, draw a penguin on the paper. Draw any penguin you love. Okay. Then fill a spray bottle or cup with water. Add some blue watercolor into the water. It means take a cup or a bottle, add in the water and put some blue watercolor. Then the next it. Second step. Color the penguin with the crayons, okay? Make sure you color the white color area thick. Means you have to repeat color the white color part, okay? Color it very thick. The third step, spray the, uh, spray the water onto the colored penguin and observe what happens, okay? I will show you some pictures. First, you need to draw the penguins. Okay, and colored it with crayon, crayon with crayon, black, white, and orange. Make sure you colored it very, very thick because after this, you will do this. You need to spray the blue color on the penguin. You see it? And what happened? Oh, what happened? You can start to do it if you are with it. What happened to your penguin? Why? Why this will happen? Why? Why the water um, will walk on the penguin? You see it? And it's not go inside. Got, uh, it's not absorbed into with the paper. Why? How did it happen? 
Anyone know? How? Why? What happened? Because the wax from the crayon, the wax, the wax is mean crayon when you touch it, it's a bit smooth, right? After you color, because it consists of wax. Then it prevents the water from absorbing into the paper. Absorb means absorbing into the paper. Okay? It means that the wax is not allowed the water to go into the paper. So it's same with the penguin. The wax on a penguin's feathers repels the water. Repels the water since it is not allowed the water to go in the body and keeps the penguin warm and dry. If you not believe, you can try it at home. You tried it. Will it happen? Or it just the magic from me? And now, it's the time for the lesson to end. Before we end, I want you all to share with me with, a, with an acid ticket where you need to... Yes, the crayon have wax. Very good answer. You all know it. You, can, you have to share three words that you learned today in the Mentimeter links, okay? And I will share the links in the chat box with you all too. So just click in. Click in and fill the word. After you click in, you will have this. So you just key in the three words you learned today. After you key in the words, you just press the word submit. You just press the word submit. Yes, you sound very good. Your crayons have wax. Good. You have a very good science knowledge, right? So you have to fill in the word one, two, three. You can, after you fill in the first round, you think that you learn more than three words, you can another round to put in again, okay? You can submit multiple answers. Let's see. What up? Okay, the, the words you learn, a lot of you learn pan queen, parrot, spider, because it's the past school. Yeah, the word pan queen is the big, the largest word, because a lot of you learn the word pan queen. Any other words you learn? Okay, I will uh, give some time to you all. Lion, tiger, kangaroo, Vex, life cycle, come on, moose, very good. Any other response? Tiger, Antarctica, North America. But I want to remind you, very good, you're able to spell the word South America, North America, but it needs to be uh, uppercase for S and uppercase for A because it's a name. Okay, very good. What more? Color bear. Wow. Crayon have wax. You learn phrase. Very good, my dear. Sea turtle, iguana, leopard. Color bear, veal, kangaroo. What more? It's keep on jumping. It's keep on jumping. Sea turtle. Wow, my dear. Pigeon. I'm so happy that you learned a lot, a lot, a lot of words today. Thank you, you all, for paying so much attention. And after I end up my lesson, please stay back. Please stay back because you need the link to uh, fill in the attendance, right? So you can continue to respond on the Mentimeter. I will end my lesson here. Thank you for attending the lesson and thank you for paying attention and join me with all the lesson and you can try the penguin experiment at, after this. Thank you. That's all from me. Thank you very much, Ms. Ang.
And I think it is very interesting lesson, right? I hope you enjoy so. So could everyone give Miss Ang a big applause to say thank you to uh, Miss Ang today? Okay? Yeah. Once again, boys and girls, before you leave, uh, remember to like our exact link web Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel too. Remember still to fill in the attendance form. You can do this by copy and paste the link into your web browser or scan the QR code on the screen. Okay. Now, let me share with you some upcoming session brought to you by EZ Learning Web. The topic is traditional clothing from around the world by Mr. Wong Ken Yong from SJKC Lingjian Laka. Our moderator will be Madam Bo Wong Hui Fe from SJKC Simming B. Kuda. Shiao 万里旺万华一小的王礼杰老师 Satu kelas bahasa Melayu Siri 3 akan diadakan pada 18 November 2021 hari Kamis pukul 4 petang. Kami akan mengadakan satu tema yang agak menarik semak semarakan pertanian kita yang akan disampaikan oleh Cikgu Helen Chong dari SJKC Jonghua Sapok, Sarawak Juru acara pada hari itu adalah Cikgu Ang Yong Ken yang berasal daripada SJKC Kawasan Pontian Johor. That's the end of the English lesson today. Thank you to, and see you again for our next session on the 15th November 2021, 4pm. Have a nice day. Bye.